Terminator Zero is out on Netflix, an animated show set in the Terminator universe. Eight episodes, around 28 minutes each. It is a proper Japanese anime, uh, and I've watched the version with the original voices, of course. The story starts with Malcolm, a scientist working on, on artificial intelligence in 1997, just days before Judgment Day, and he's uh, experiencing visions of impending, impending doom um, related to that Judgment Day. The twist is he's not working on Skynet, he's making his own AI called Kokoro, which he believes, um, if brought online and connected to the internet, might be able to stop Skynet. But bringing her online might just as well make her reach the same conclusions that Skynet did, uh, which is that she should eradicate humanity instead of helping it. And as this moral dilemma is, is playing out in a series of conversations between Malcolm and the AI, um, a Terminator and a human are both sent back uh, in time from the future to find Malcolm and, depending on which is, which is it, uh, either stop him or save him. So, I thought this started off fairly mediocre. Uh, the first two episodes are pretty much standard Terminator fair, nothing we haven't seen before. They do exactly what you would expect. Uh, but to make things a little bit worse, they involve three child uh, characters, which are very, very annoying. Then it gets better, uh, because as it moves into the middle part, it starts to raise some genuinely fantastic philosophical questions about artificial intelligence, about the role of human civilization in the life on Earth, about time travel and its implications with creating new timelines. Um, I love that bit. I, I thought this was very interesting. And then in the very last episode, it sort of crashes down upon itself uh, by suddenly introducing three new plot twists, making the entire plot way more convoluted than it ever needed to be, and opting to end with an extended action sequence, uh, still involving the children, um, instead of really going down with the philosophical debates that were its strength uh, just before that. Um, I think the animation itself looks alright, but nothing special. Uh, the fight scenes and the action are pretty average. Uh, there's maybe one or two that impressed me, but aside from that, it, it tended to be a bit lacking. And I will also say that the amount of plot armor some of these characters have is just outrageous. Um, the Terminator is shown to mercilessly kill everyone in his path, except for when a named character needs to survive. Then it just magically doesn't go for the kill ever. Um, and I hated that. It, it broke my suspension of disbelief. Overall, still a decent show, I'd say, uh, because the strength of its philosophical pondering in the middle uh, elevates it somewhat from an average sci-fi action show than it would otherwise be.